Pam Powers is going to do our uh, introduction. Thank you, Pam. Floor is yours.
luring businesses in, and these are strategies that are being done across the country, so there's a lot of competition for these types of strategies. And so, you know, I'm not faulting these, but, you know, there are other things that we could do to grow local business rather than trying to chase all these, all these IBMs and all these Toyota plants and expansion of Raytheon, which is what everybody else is trying to do at the same time. So this is, a, this is a quote, actually, from the New York Times. It says, you know, the most po popular types of jobs programs involves tax breaks or subsidies that seek to seduce a company from one state to another. So what they're saying is that that really doesn't grow employment. It just shifts it from state to state. So we're not really evolving. We're just, you know, stealing from Peter to pay Paul by doing that. So uh, what can we do on the oh, here on the state level? What are they doing? They're fighting against us, really, because what they're doing is they're they're cutting corporate taxes multiple years in a row. They're cutting personal taxes, and so what that does is it shrinks the revenue of the state. So then, what do they do? They cut education. Education is one of the big things that businesses look at when they want to move to the state. You know, we have a research university here, but what are they doing? They're cut, 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 cut. You know, to to make it barely functional. Uh, they're also laying off workers. So you lay off workers, you get fewer services, you get more people on unemployment, more people on access, fewer people have money in their pockets, and so it's not business friendly to, to lay people off because they, then they can't buy anything. And so the Arizona legislature is marching backward, you know. So what, what can we do? You know, in my opinion, we need some out-of-the-box thinking. The old strategies that we have to compete with other other cities who don't necessarily have a crazy legislature, maybe those are not the things to do, you know? And so instead of giving millions to, to big companies to move in or, or giving breaks, like for example, last spring there was an article in the Star that said that the Pima County wanted to give, wanted to spend $40 million on a road for Raytheon. To me, that's $40 million in corporate welfare to Raytheon. What if we gave them $30 million and we took that $10 million and we invested it in businesses that are homegrown in Tucson? You know, for example, look at Gadabout Salon. If Gadabout Salon had a $10,000 grant, let's give them $10,000, right? What, what would they do? Maybe they would have start their own skincare line, you know? What if we gave uh, Harlow Gardens, you know, $10,000? Maybe they could, they could start manufacturing, you know, water harvesting. There are things that we could do instead of giving money and giving tax breaks to bring in another Walmart or another IBM or another Raytheon. We need to grow what we've got here because these days business are rooted in true time and they're not going to move. They're not going to be like spring training, training or IBM. They're not going to go. They're going to they're gonna grow and they're going to uh, build jobs here. Next slide. So instead of giving tax breaks and free land, like I said, how about if we have grants for innovation? I'm not saying let's give $5,000 to somebody to buy a new building. I'm saying they come up with a proposal saying, this is my dream. I want to do X, Y, Z with my business, and this is how much money I need, and this is my business plan. I think it's a better investment. We can throw millions at trying to bring in spring training and get nothing for it. You know, we give $110,000 grants around town, and what are we going to get? We're going to get innovation, and we're going to be creative about job creation. So instead of the other thing that we've heard a lot about in our latest election was about cutting fees and things like that. To me, cutting fees is like sort of a it's like a bandage. You know, it might increase a small business's profit margin, but it's not going to create jobs. What we need is innovation, and I say fund grants and fund innovation rather than doing these sort of patchwork band-aid things as far as cutting fees. And because really those, especially in the development area. If you're cutting fees, it might help a small contractor some, but who that's really helping, that's helping the big contractors, the ones that are building all those homes on the periphery of town that are now empty. That's who cutting fees helps when you're cutting development fees. So in the end, what I would like to say is that we need to build on our strengths. You know, there's a lot of, you know, whining and this and that and the start, but we have a lot of good things about Tucson. We have the University of Arizona. It is a research center. I worked there for 14 years in cancer research. I know how much money and how many jobs and how many good paying jobs with healthcare the university can create and we need to work with them and their tech transfer. And the other thing is, you know, we have, you know, little businesses here and there with solar energy or water harvesting. These are niche markets that, that we could own 
but these need to be developed. You know, the other thing that's really unique about Tucson is the environment, you know? We, we are different down here. We are different in the fact that we're a lot of liberals, but we also have different types of vegetation. What can we do with that vegetation, you know? Maybe, maybe there's a new cancer drug out there in a piece of cactus, and if you gave the Arizona Cancer Center $10,000 or $50,000, they could run some pilot data on it and bring in an NCI grant. And we also, we have the arts and music community. They're thriving sort of in spite of the city government. <laughs> so anyway, these are my ideas. It's not a complete list, but I say let's grow our own local businesses by funding innovation. Uh, 